and welcome back to Friday. My name is Kelsey. I'm the teen librarian here at the Smith Public Library. I'm Chelsea. I'm a reference assistant for youth services here. And you probably know us from previous Fridays, but we are excited to be back for our first summer Friday. And while this doesn't technically count as a summer learning club program, we are still excited to be here for the first week of June to do a really cool craft with you guys. We are going to be doing marbled mugs. You can kind of see that right there. These are made with nail polish and just plain ceramic mugs. That's pretty much the gist of what you're gonna need. And we're gonna show you how to do these. So uh, to get started, let me show you what you're gonna need. You're obviously going to need some nail polish. This is just old nail polish <laughs> that Chelsea and some of our other coworkers donated. So we're gonna be using that. You're also going to want some plain mugs. You can use mugs, like if you have like one with the fun saying across it, or if your school logo is on it and you want to decorate that one, you can do that. However, I would recommend doing white. Uh, I used black on this one. This is a black mug with some nail polish over it. It turned out okay. Um, would you please demonstrate the one that did not turn out okay? <laughs> wah, wah, uh, this wah. is my failure from yesterday. <laughs> You probably can't see that it's clunky. <laughs> We're gonna try not to make them as chunky as that one is today. Um, what you also can't see is that while it may look very pretty like this, there is virtually nothing on the back. So we think that we figured out a way that we can roll them through the water with the nail polish and get it to wrap around. But regardless, you can also do this just by dipping it straight into the water and you have a cool like half and half yeah. like effect, which we'll do some of those too. So let's put these over here. We've got our nail polish, we got our mugs. You will probably want like a piece of plastic or wax paper to lay your finished mugs on and you're gonna wanna lay them down like this. If you use paper, It'll stick, to, the nail polish will stick to the paper and the paper will rip off onto the nail polish and you don't want that. Did you learn from experience? Um, I just learned by thinking ahead of time oh. about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, well, sometimes paper towels stick to nail polish. Don't do that. Um, okay, you will also might want some toothpicks. So the toothpicks will come into play after you put the nail polish into the water. And speaking of which, you're going to want a large container. This is the one I used yesterday. It is like a plastic Halloween themed black bowl. <laughs> we weren't using it. Um, it now looks like this after I used the nail polish in it yesterday. We also have this festive gingerbread man container that Chelsea's gonna be using for our first one. <laughs> And I've got a big clear plastic container that we just use for storage. So something that if you damage it, you're not gonna care about it, you can throw it away, you can buy a new one, it's not that big of a deal, your parents won't murder you. So, okay, we're gonna get this started. So the camera might be a little wobbly for a minute because our camera person is gonna come and get some close-ups of things, but we're gonna show you how this process starts. You want first, you want very hot water, not boiling, but hot enough that the nail polish isn't going to like immediately harden in there. So, all right, camera person, you can do either Chelsea or me, but I'm gonna make sure my nail polish is all shaken up. Shaken up? Shaken up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here, you want a toothpick. Thank you. Toothpicks, toothpicks. Okay. So I try to pour the polish all at once because if you pour it one at a time, that gives it too much time to start to harden in the water. So, and you can lay your brushes on your piece of plastic. We have this beautiful unicorn tablecloth that we could lay things on, but I'm gonna try to avoid that. Okay. Uh -uh. All right, so I'm gonna take these two in one hand, this one in the other, and we're just gonna kinda go for it. So. Okay. 
So I've poured it in. It looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to kind of do one of these numbers. Your toothpick is going to get gross. You're going to put that down and then I am going to try to roll it through the water. Woo! That's pretty good. Can you see that? I've got a weird spot right here where I think I kind of messed it up. Chelsea's gonna do hers. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over, over here. I've got nail polish on my hands, but that's okay. I will tell you guys, I just discovered some nail polish sinks. That was one of the problems I had yesterday too. But if you put it on top of other nail polish, it did stick. So I tried to use this purple and it sank, but then I put it on top of the other two and it stayed. So I'm gonna do it like this instead of like Kelsey. And then, there, oh, we dripping. Cool. We dripping. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, oh, you got like a... oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so mine's kind of just at the bottom. Ooh, kind of looks like just like pink and purple flames on the bottom of this cup. I like that. Thank you. It's got cool stuff on the bottom too. So that's how I did mine. Yay. Okay. And there she goes. So we've sat them down. It rolled really well. Yeah, it, the rolling worked really well. Good. Um, except for this weird, you can't see it, but the camera can right there. Um, <laughs> The weird spot right there where I think I kind of hesitated and it got messed up. So those are, that's our round one. We've got two more to do. We're going to pause really quickly and we're going to get it reset up and we'll show you the next round. Okay? Here go. Kelsey and I switched containers so I'm using the long one so I'm going to try and roll it like she did. I've got my colors. Um, I got my colors. I'm going to pour them in here. I think I'm going to try and not do them all at one time. Hello? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Okay, that one was sinking. So we're gonna try. That's better. Okay, and then we're gonna drop some of this green on top. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, check and see if your nail polish has like hardened inside first. <laughs> I shook this one quite, oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna get this little bit of brown in here. The brown came out pretty easily. Got my handy toothpick. Uh -oh. oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Time to go. It's time to go. You can see it started hardening. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna. I'm gonna go like this. Roll it. Ooh, she kind of chunky. She is a little chunky right there, you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but, but that's okay. This side, by the time it evened out, looked pretty cool. But there, there you go. There was my second attempt. <laughs> it turned I really out, like this side over here. Yeah, this side looks way better. This side, a little chunky. It's textured, it's like a map, like cartography. <laughs> Those are mountains. Isn't it like topography? Topography, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. All right, we're gonna do number two over here and I am going to dip like Chelsea did with hers. So we're just gonna do, these are my colors, if you can see them, and also my beautiful now fingernail polish. go the toothpick this time and I'm just gonna dip it and I'm gonna see what happens so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna dip it straight in Ooh. what did it do oh neat Pretty. okay I like this one I like it very cool all right I'm gonna slide it off and then put it over here Okay. Make sure you pick up all the extra uh, junk 
from your water so that it does not get stuck going down your drain. That could be another reason why your parents would be very unhappy with you. Yes. So you don't want that. So yeah, just take a toothpick. Can you see me, camera? <laughs> <laughs> So just take a toothpick and you will swirl it around in the water and that'll collect all of your excess and then you can just throw that in the trash and that way your water is much easier to dispose of. Thank you guys for tuning in for this tutorial. Uh, really quickly I want to go over a couple more things about this. You want to make sure that you are in a well ventilated area. This workroom that we're in, this is the youth services workroom, by the way, welcome. Um, it is not super well ventilated. We've got like a vent fan system, but it's still going to reek of nail polish in here later. <laughs> so if you can open windows, if you can turn fans on, I would definitely advise that. Uh, particularly if you start working with nail polish remover after your mugs have dried, because what you can do is that you can kind of make, especially if you get it around the top, you're gonna to wanna to try to clean that up a little bit with some nail polish remover and just make it look a little bit tidier. I would also recommend sealing your mug with Mod Podge, uh, with dishwasher safe or oven safe Mod Podge. That is going to give it a good coat so that you're not just drinking from something that has nail polish on it. <laughs> um, and if you use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, it can be obviously put in the dishwasher. However, the website that I got it from does still recommend doing a hand wash instead and that'll help protect the color and pattern a little bit. I use the website DIYcandy.com. They had the tutorial, it's just called DIY Marbled Mugs with Nail Polish. It also includes a video if you would like to watch somebody with probably more skill than us <laughs> do this DIY. They can show you how, and they have the step-by-step -step instructions and everything you will need, as well as more about the safety of using Mod Podge with these and sealing them so that you're not just like licking some nail polish, because we don't advise that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to add safety-wise. Ventilation, um, making sure that you're not dumping like toxic, horrible things too much down the drain, um, and then making sure you seal your mug afterwards. So be careful not to burn yourself with hot water too. Yes. It should be hot for the nail polish to not start hardening, but like don't just stick your hand don't, in a bowl of hot water. Don't boil water. <laughs> you just want as hot as your faucet can go, that's fine. You don't need to boil water or use like hot water from your Keurig or something. Don't do that. That's too hot. You're going to hurt yourself. Just use some hot water from the faucet. So, okay. Thank you guys yeah. for watching another Friday. We will see you next week. Make sure that you are registering for all of our programs on the website. It's the um, Smith Public Library. And that is from the City of Wiley's website. You can find us. You can also find us on our Facebook page which is where this will probably be posted, or you might be watching this on YouTube, so go find Smith Public Library. Uh, they're part of the city of Wiley, and search us on Facebook, and you can register for all of our upcoming summer learning programs, and we look forward to seeing you guys then.